and underneath each black cat it said, Happy Birthday. Fancy sending a picture of a cat to somebody on their birthday. Then Midge thought of something else. Mary had printed a row of potato patterns, exactly the same as each other. And now, here was a row of birthday cards, exactly the same as each other. I wonder if this shop prints those cards with potatoes like Mary does. I must find out. Midge ran through the door. Inside, it was full of machines and men working. But no potatoes anywhere. Mitch climbed onto the first table to have a better look. What's this? Stop, Midge. It's ink. Then Midge saw the cat birthday card again. It was standing beside one of the machines. In the middle of the machine, Midge saw a piece of metal with the pattern of the cat sticking up on it. And underneath were two words. At first, Midge couldn't read what they said. They were the wrong way round. Happy birthday! Out of the way, Mouse. We want to print some more birthday cards here. Now you've got ink on your tail, too. The man put some of Midge's ink onto the machine. Another man put a pile of cards down. He pulled a lever. It made the roller cover the words and the cat with ink. Then the paper was lifted up and pressed against the pattern of the cat and the words. The birthday card was printed. But it wasn't dark enough. Charlie, it's too light. Could you put some more ink on this machine? Happy birthday. That's better. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. The machine counted as each card was printed. Midge watched the machine print the cat and happy birthday on all the cards. The machine stopped when it had printed 50. 50 cats! Oh! That's not a cat, that's a dog. It's Mungo. Oh, I forgot he's waiting for me. <laughs> Here I am, Mungo. About time, too. Look at you. You're covered in paint. It's not paint. It's printer's ink. I've been watching some birthday cards being printed. All exactly the same. Cats. Oh. Come on. We must go home. That's right. You can ride in the basket. Then I won't lose you again. <laughs> Piper, Piper, read all about it. There's a pile of newspapers all the same. I suppose they get printed like the birthday cards. On very big printing machines, 
much bigger than you saw. We must hurry home. When they got home, Mary's mother gave Mary, Mungo and Midge a potato each. I'm going to make a potato print birthday card of me. Why? So that I can give one to all my friends on their birthdays. As you only have two friends, Mary and myself, you'll only have to make two cards. And as we both know what you look like, why should we have a picture of you? Mungo, let Midge print a picture of whatever he wants. But before you do anything else, Midge, you'd better get yourself clean. Look, you've made footprints all over my best drawing book. Thank you.